Alright, welcome back to my shop. In my last video, I made a new spoil board for the Sidewinder CNC. And once you get a spoil board done, one of the first things you want to do after that is to surface it to get it nice and square with the gantry. Or I should say parallel, I guess, with the gantry. But before I do that, because everybody knows that MDF is probably the nastiest stuff on the face of the earth as far as breathing. So before I do that, I want to uh, get some dust collection set up. And before I can do that, I want to determine what kind of router or spindle I'm going to use with this machine because that will determine uh, what size dust shoe I make. So I have decided, I'll just cut to the chase here, I've decided to go with this uh, DeWalt compact router. It's a one and a quarter horsepower. Um, and I'll tell you why I went with that here in just a minute. This is what I had on there. These are, you know, I have probably four or five of these things. These are Porter Cable 690. Great routers, one and three quarter horsepower. But the downside is, one, they are not variable speed, so it's either on or off. And the top speed is 27,500 according to the uh, little sticker on the side of this router. And this one I even had a muscle chuck on so I could use this little, uh, little T-handle Allen wrench to change out bits, which made it uh, pretty nice. But uh, the other downside is, and if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to be doing a test amongst uh, the different routers and things. This thing is really, really loud, especially in this small shop and the way I've got this little Lexan uh, kind of enclosure to keep the dust all right here. It just is really super loud. So I decided to go with this little uh, DeWalt 611, at least for now, because 99% of the time I'm using just a quarter inch shank bit. Um, this is a 1 8 bit, and you can see it's got uh, a quarter inch shank on it. That's usually what I like to order. Uh, but even though this has a little less power than this, it, like I said, it's one and a quarter horsepower, it does have the variable speed. And again, I'm going to be doing a sound test uh, so you can see the difference at the different levels. But even on, uh, this one has a range of like 16,000 RPM to I think 27,000 RPM. The speed goes from 1 through 6. So if you got it on 1, you're at 16,000. And that's pretty much all you'll ever need using a hobby CNC router like this. Um, but... Uh, this is what I'm going to go with for now. This is an old um, mount that I bought several years ago from CNC Router Parts, which is now Avid CNC. But the bolt hole pattern is the same as the old K2 CNC um, router mount that I had this one in. I can also run a Porter Cable 450 in that, which I do have one of those. It's exactly like this router, except a different color. But the one thing it doesn't have is the variable speed. It's just an all or nothing type thing. So I think this is going to be a good little choice for this machine and the, and the kind of projects I want to do. Another one I could run is I have made a... 3D printed a little um, sleeve, I guess you'd call it, that you could put in here and it will run a Makita router. The Makita routers have just a little bit smaller than the DeWalt's and the Porter Cable 450's, but, uh, and it's a good little router. It's uh, variable speed also, but I think I'm just going to go with this one. That way I don't need the sleeve and we'll just see how this one works out. Now let's get to the test where uh, I show you the uh, decibel meter on these different uh, speeds and different routers. I thought just to give us a baseline here, I re uh, record the uh, decibel level. This is just with my shop. It's nice and quiet. The shop door is open. You might hear some birds chirping or something. 
but it's uh, really quiet out here. This is uh, where I have turned on my controller. I'm currently using a G3 CNC controller with this uh, Sidewinder CNC. And it has kind of a noisy fan. I'm probably going to be building a little quieter controller uh, later on. That'll be an upcoming video too. But just wanted to give you an idea uh, how loud it is with just the controller on. And now here's the one with the Porter Cable 690. You can see that it really jumps up there and gets noisy. It, uh, I think I, the highest number I saw was 110. Uh, so somewhere between 90 and 110 decibels. And then finally here is the DeWalt 611 and again I'm starting off with the setting on one so it's at about 16,000 RPM. But you can see as I slowly move through the numbers on the dial, uh, speeding it up, it really doesn't go up much, just a couple of decibels. Uh, you know it's really pretty quiet all the way up through the top. And right there is, I think, uh, number six all the way up at about 27,000 RPM. And you can see it still just doesn't jump even close to what the Porter Cable 690 was. Okay, so as you can see from those tests, the, the Walt 611 is going to be a lot quieter than that Porter Cable 690. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you uh, got something out of this. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider doing so. Make sure you hit the little bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. And until the next one, thank you very much for watching.